Dakota's Republican and Democratic parties are holding their state conventions in Fargo, and there has been a steady pace of interest. Valley News team's Gabriel Osler joins us live from the GOP convention at the Sanford Health Athletic Center in North Fargo. Gabe, how are things looking out there right now? Well, Bobby, I told you that I would get back to you when the dust settled when I checked in at noon, and I will say the dust has settled, but it was a little touch and go for a minute there. A quick rundown. We started the program. Things were all kind of hunky-dory. Mayor Mahoney made an introduction to the city of Fargo, and then the resolutions got introduced. And one of the things that was a particular point of contention was that District 37 was not going to be able to vote in this convention due to some irregularities in their application process. That ground proceeding to a halt while we did appeals and counter appeals for well over an hour. But finally, things got resolved. I caught up with gubernatorial candidate Kelly Armstrong to find out how he felt about the way that everything went down. Well, I care about three things a whole lot. I care about the Republican Party, the state convention, and District 37 is my old hometown of Dickinson. So it came down on the place of you're punishing the wrong people, no matter who is right or who is wrong. And if you don't seat an entire district full of delegates, you're going you're gonna to feed into the narrative that this is not for everybody. And So as you heard Kelly say, District 37 did get to vote. There's some voting going on right now when it comes to positions like committee man. We also had a bit of a high point where former or current Governor Burgum, who's going to be terming out, spoke to the crowd and got a pretty nice response. Now things that we're looking forward to in the future, tomorrow Kelly told me that he will be announcing his running mate for that gubernatorial position. And there are still more races and still more intrigue to come. Tomorrow my colleague Zachary Wyand will be here. In the meantime, I'll be with you through the rest of these broadcasts. Bobby, back to the great work that you do in this. Yeah, Gabriel, thank you so much. And we will we'll have continued coverage of the GOP and Democratic state conventions tonight on Valley News Live.